Hey there, church family. It's Shelly Clays. I hope you're having a great Wednesday. I started making a Connect video earlier, but got a phone call, and that phone call stops your video. And I had errands to run, so here I am multitasking. I just dropped Kai off some water as he's working hard in the sun. I don't think you can see him weed whacking for a friend. And I just have a heavy heart for all that's going on in the world right now, and I'm sure you do too. There is so much from this COVID to an election to so many injustices, not to mention all the natural disasters, hurricanes as we speak, and wildfires friends in need of healing, family in need of healing, and I thought for our Connect video today we could join together and go to our Heavenly Father who knows all things and has the solutions and has the peace and has the help for us. Dave and I are often called by our kids or they're running up to us for help with an argument or tears over heartache or joy over some victory and we love it when they do. How much more does our Heavenly Father love when his kids come to him and he knows way more than the clays do. So I just thought we could quiet our hearts for a few minutes together and seek God's heart and cry out what's on our minds to Him and exchange our heaviness and our uncertainty for His peace and His wisdom. I remember when we were studying in 1 John together, chapter 5, verse 14 says, Oh, I have my Bible here. It says, Do you carry your Bible in your car? I don't always. I just grabbed it today. It says, this is the confidence we have in approaching God, that if we ask anything according to his will, he hears us. Let's pray together. Thank you, God, that we can come to you anytime, any moment, any place, any one of us, whether it's been one minute since we've talked to you last, or one hour, or one week, or one year, and you love to hear from our, your kids. And we just need you, God. We desire for you to guide us and to direct our steps and help us in our thinking and give us the right words. We thank you, God, that you are merciful and just and righteous in all you do, and you are our ever-present help in times of trouble. We just pray for your will to be done on earth, Lord, even though it is full of sin and wickedness and pain and heartache right now. We ask, God, that your will would be done, that you would show us your children how to participate in bringing your will here to earth, God. We pray, Lord, that you would just encourage our hearts through these tough times. You are def our defender, that we would always look to you for help, God, that you would help us just cast off the works and thoughts of the enemy and the evil one and that we would put on our armor each and every day, God, and cry out to you in our trouble, and that you would deliver us out of our despair and our hurt and our heartache, and that we know that these difficult things that we're going through, you are using for our good to change us and mature us and grow us and sharpen us. So help us not to lose heart, but continue to come to you for every situation and every single thing, God. Even if we don't see you moving or working, we know that you are. I heard it said, even when we're losing, we're winning because you are always up to good. And we pray, God, for those in line of these wildfires that they would have wisdom to know the right steps on whether to evacuate or how to prepare their 
property or what things to pack or how to encourage a neighbor, God, that they wouldn't lose heart and they would look to you. And for those being hit by storms and hurricanes, even today, God, we ask for peace. We ask that more would turn to you than ever before. More would cry out to you and that they would hear you and they would turn from their wicked ways and they would walk in surrender and submission and faithfulness to you. They would hear you guiding their steps. You would send help to those who need rescue and help in, in any way that they need it, God. You would cause this storm just to dissipate and for the water to recede and go out of homes and out of streets and out of neighborhoods and they would begin to pick up the pieces and move forward, but not forward without hope and not forward alone, but forward with you full of hope and full of guidance. For teachers, God, that you would give them creative minds beyond anything they've ever had before in how to reach students, whether they're in the classroom or on computers. I know some are trying to do both, and it seems impossible. How can you manage a classroom while you're having kids on the computer? but you are the way maker. So give them detailed instruction on how to proceed. And maybe it's just caring for hearts and minds and nurturing wounded and fearful emotions, God, but just make their way clear, please. Remove all discouragement and fill them with joy and excitement and anticipation and thankfulness to be doing something different, to have a purpose, to be pouring into young kids' minds and help those kids be diligent in their studies and pay attention and learn quickly and easily, even if it's on devices they've never used before, God. Show them how to navigate those things with ease. And if they don't have the device that they need, please provide them for them. There's so many more things, God. So I just am encouraged that our bodies praying together now and that they would cry out to you with specific needs that are on their hearts and minds. And we lift up our brother Steve, who's having surgery today, God, and we just come to you again and again as we already have and ask that you would remove all infection, Lord, and that you would guide every medical staff that's taking care of him and bring great peace to him and to Debbie, Lord, that they would know you are with them, that they would experience you powerfully and say, Christ is enough for me, no matter what the outcome. He is enough and I am not alone and victory is mine today and a greater victory is coming in heaven so I can go on and joy despite my circumstances. So I know there's so much more, God, and this is just the tip of the iceberg, but I'm thankful that you have heard us and you will act and you will move and you will know what is best in all of these situations and all our trust and all our hope is in you. And all fear and discouragement and hopelessness is gone because when we step towards you, you rush at us, God. And darkness cannot be in your presence. And when we are in your presence, we are safe and held. We love you and we thank you for listening to our prayers today and we trust in you to answer them in the way you see best. In Jesus' name I pray, amen. Love you guys. See you Sunday in person. Can't wait.